time to torch it up. Okay, so just got my little small nap gas I use. And we keep it about 12 to 14 inches away. Okay, well you can see, well, maybe I'll get you another view here. hard for you to see but it basically there's millions of bubbles in there. And this torch just whoosh, turns it to glass see one little trouble spot and that's from a piece of thin set that is chunked out so I'm going to unchunk her Uh, looking for hairs still as always they might fall off you they might fall from the sky you just gotta look at different light angles and hopefully you find them but I'm thinking You're catching the drift here. That was a chunk of a uh, thin set that I pulled out of there that was sitting higher than the surface. That's just some of the things you have to worry about if you're putting foreign objects in there or substances or whatever you want to call it, it really doesn't matter. Dirt, rock, air caps, bottle tabs, pictures. And there's another method called a wet layup, which may be interesting to you. And you might think, well, how do I do this on a surface that's already laying vertical? Well, maybe I'll post a video for doing a wet layup. Or you can research wet layup. Alright, so I'm ready to torch it up again.
See, by torching it and getting rid of the bubbles, you will find, and looking in the light glare, you're likely to find any other issues along the way. Now here, I see a string. Looks like, to me, it looks like it's a hair. But it didn't come out. It's not a hair. It was a series of bubbles. Like right here, I see something sticking up. Here, I see a piece of thin set, a big chunk of thin set just kind of protruding. Just mash it down. Do it now before it's too late. Here it looks like there's a hair. Here it's thin set. So you gotta look in different lights to see your issues. Right? Different perspectives. I know this video is kind of long, but it's important when you're doing resin to see these kind of things and educate yourself prior to messing with it or you're going to cost yourself a lot of money. And headache. And, or, might screw it up so bad. You don't even want to mess with it again. Hmm. Um, any, anything? Peanut butter and jelly, okay. Or steak and eggs. What? Steak and eggs is fine too. Prime rib. No chicken nuggets. One time, I called her from work, acting like I was a big shot. I said, "You got my prime ready, prime rib ready for work for dinner tonight." And uh, I had her on speakerphone. Guys are around. She goes, "No, I got you chicken nuggets done." <laughs> that was funny. All right. That wasn't even planned. And she wasn't lying. She did have me chicken nuggets. So. As you can see, it's a quick Simple, back and forth. We'll get rid of your bubbles. But, just because you're getting rid of the bubbles and you've already picked hairs out, don't mean you won't find another one. So pay close attention, get your, your issues resolved in the first half hour to 40 minutes before you can't resolve them. If this video has helped you out, please subscribe, share with your friends, and keep looking at your email for um, notifications indicating I've posted a new video. I appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I hope this has helped somebody. Till next time. See you again.